some of these cast hope trips, you know, we've taken uh, these kids out and I notice, you know, sometimes they show up and their hats low and they're kicking dirt, wondering what they're doing out in the middle of nowhere, you know, and just, and fast forward, fast forward, uh, you know, an hour later and their hats swinging around and they're bug eyed and they're like, look at that, look at that. What's that? You know, and and just say, man, that's a, that's called a mallard, <laughs> you know, and they, and you realize, wow, you know, they've, maybe this kid has never seen a duck in the wild, or maybe they've, you know, and like I said, you know, f- the fishing aspect of it, it's just the vehicle, you know, it's, it's all about just instilling that passion. And, uh, you know, some, some kids gravitate to it and, um, you really stick with it and we try to nurture that. Um, and some, you know, it's their attention spans are short and they may enjoy it, have a good time, but we may never see them again, you know, but who knows what that moment did for them and how it will affect the rest of their life, you know? How much do you love being a dad? You seem to me to be somebody who perhaps got the the wild years out of the way when you were younger. And, and by the time fatherhood came around, I imagine you were just so primed and ready for it. You seem to have all the characteristics that a good dad would have. Do you love it? Uh, I'm just, I'm just trying to uh, be the best dad. I, I mean, every day is different. You know, I feel like I'm learning every day. You know, I mean, I feel like I had the best dad in the world, you know, Um, and if I could be a fraction of what he was to me, to my son, then, you know, I'm doing something, something right. You know, it's, it's the greatest. I mean, our, our son is so incredible, uh, so full of life and excited about everything. Um, You know, it's, if anything, I'm, I'm just trying to keep up with him. <laughs> I'm, I'm 47. So, uh, but what's wild is I remember I had the realization, uh, we got our family together, uh, when my dad was still around on his 80th birthday and I had just turned 40 and my son was just born. And, uh, it hit me like a ton of bricks that, you know, the, my son, you know, was the same age, or I was the same age as my dad when he had me. And just that, that whole picture of like, Oh my God, I, when I'm 80, he's 40. And, you know, um, it's, it's, uh, it's the greatest. It's, it's a tough, it's a tough job for sure. You know, um, my wife, I couldn't, I couldn't do what I do if it wasn't for my wife. You know, she's, uh, she's an absolute trooper. You know, I just, I work, 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 um, trying to, trying to make a, a conscious effort to spend more time at home. I recently made a decision, uh, to stop working on Saturdays and Sundays and, um, just keeping it for the family, especially when he's in school. Um, there's just, I got plenty of work. There's no reason I should be away from home on Saturdays and Sundays, you know, unless I have to be, but. I love that, man. And I got I got to touch on this cause I think this is important uh, for people to hear maybe. Um, I don't have children of my own um, and I like what you're doing with cast hope because I think that it translates into you sort of being a father figure as well to the people that you're taking out. And I think that that is a much greater calling too. And I can kind of relate to that in a small way um, because I do think you can be sort of fatherhood doesn't necessarily have to be your child, right? You could mentor somebody who may need a father figure that might not have one. And I think of like inner city 
children and sure. people who haven't been able to have the luxury of a father. Uh, and I also think of my my fiance's family who um, live in New York City. We had her niece and her little sister up. Um, and there were moments that I was just blown away when they hadn't seen mountains before. They hadn't seen fireflies at night. They hadn't seen stars, shooting stars. They hadn't sat by a fire. We did all these little things within a, a two day period, showed them the first waterfall. I'll never forget this young girl just, whoa, I've, I've only seen this shit on TV, yo. Like she's like, yo, I've only seen this shit on TV. Those are mountains, that looks like a painting. Like. Yeah, <laughs> they're and they're yeah. blown away and fascinated. And you see this little girl, for example, who's lived a pretty hard life, yeah. being being a child, yeah. going around trying to catch fireflies, um, sitting in awe at the stars. Yeah. And I had these moments where I had tears forming in my eyes, like, "Wow, this is, I do this all the time. Mm -hmm. These kids have never done these things, and yeah. it dawned on me how important that is." And to have a male figure there that they're not used to having, that's explaining something to them, being positive, being gentle with them, not yelling and screaming. Like, ha I think what you're doing with Cast Hope is is huge, huge. And I'm sure you feel that tug on your heart. Uh, it's much like when you're in an audience and you've written these lyrics that mean the world to you and you see somebody singing them back at you like, I get what you just said and it puts the hair on my arms up, you know, like, that purpose that you have with with what you're doing, not just as a father, but as a father figure. And I think that's the greater calling. And I commend you for that and recognizing oh. that. And I'm I'm like, I want I want to jump on board with that kind of stuff. I was thinking of this recently. How can I could contribute as well? And um, I think you might have just planted the seed for me to maybe at some point in my life try to reach out to inner city kids to bring them up on hikes or something. Just like that shit to me. Yeah game changing and i'll never forget when i was a kid when my father first showed me the stars as a inner city kid and my dad was like we need to start doing this so every summer we'd go to the mountains the white mountains in new hampshire and having that first moment looking up and seeing the stars i can still see it as clear as day and it changed my life forever so yeah cast hope i commend you for that work that is thank you that's a yeah it's a beautiful thing